Take three. Hey guys, I'm back, and it is the next day, and this game is slowly killing me because I have to wear a back brace for my back. Yeah. Anyway, so off screen, I clicked the crow, and it allowed me to just basically play the game over again. Uh, I closed the game, and I started it up again, and I'm just going to play it again. And I won't show anything unless there's some really funny highlights or if there's something new that pops up. So, here we go. The TV turned on as soon as I told him we'll go upstairs together. I'm gonna watch it. Oh, before I do that, let's save on Mr. Crow. Is my good friend Crow. Weird. I think this is just gonna repeat. I think we're done here. Uh, the TV's back. Oh, this is after I killed myself. <clears throat> and I'm just gonna watch the TV again. It's just the same thing. It's literally just the same thing. Why is it playing this early into this loop? Yep, mom's still blocking the doorway. Excuse me. So, something interesting happened. After the somewhat final loop of me killing the red-haired boy, I got the achievement showing or recycle or something showing or cycle, and then my game crashed. <laughs> or it closed itself, I don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna keep going, bye! And then I open it up and it goes right back to this, okay. Okay. Great. Also, I just realized something. Instead of bringing the <clears throat> little brother to the backyard, what happens if I try to go out the front door with his brother waiting outside? It probably won't let me, but I'm gonna try it anyway. You can make her get rid of this recycle. Just need you to make that choice for her. The option she didn't select. Come to the tree to find me. You'll remember to bring the thing I want. That boy. No, I don't want to skip important content. Now, I'm gonna look outside this time. <gasps> the chair! It moves. Ooh. Interesting. Okay, I'm gonna go back and restart it. Interesting. What happens if I move this? Did I screw it up? Okay, I know exactly where I want to go. I want to go here. I'm assuming. 
No, it won't let me climb over it. What if I go over here? I can climb the wall and go outside. Climb up. This is what I often do every day. Another successful escape. Hey, where is the box I usually put here? So weird. <gasps> oh, hi. Never think about anything else or anything unnecessary. Otherwise, you will split up. Do what it requires and then give it. But you might become its puppet in consequence. Don't worry, I will help you later. After that, it will appear. It will disturb and hinder you. Who's talking? And nobody's at the doorbell. Hello? Here is the spiritual world within your soul. Whatever happens is the experience you have ever met. People who have often been in this world are different individuals of your soul, are parts of your soul. You can't live without them. The different appearances you see are shapes that you unconsciously gave them, like a light mirroring on them. Who is talking on earth? Oh, missing persons poster. A student from X school in XX city disappeared five years ago and his whereabouts are still unknown. For insiders, please contact 888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888
we're at the start of the guide after it says repeat everything you did in week eight so here we go so this is pretty much i read the guide so it's pretty much the same thing up until i smashed the bathroom window and don't go to bed with her so i shall return Oh Lord! So this time around, uh, right before I smashed the bathroom window, I decided to look at the pile of paintings that we did, and this is the first thing that popped up. Interesting. So this is that. And nothing else seems to stick to mind. Okay. I can run with a chair. That face will give me nightmares forever. So I'm back in the maze. Uh, this time the directions are different. It's up, left, right, left, right. And in order to get this achievement, I cannot touch the purple boy because last time I did, I got hurt. Uh, so up, left. Uh, excuse me, miss. I got Nope. Why you ignore me? Left. Come on, please don't ignore me. And here's the stairs. I think that was him trying to, like, stop me. But I couldn't tell for sure. And then I get the purple slate. And then I'm gonna grab the hammer and then continue on with, you know, whatever I'm doing. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I just went through, like, the running away from the monster while avoiding the green puddles. And the numbers flashed up on the screen. I think it's the same one that popped up in the beginning of the game. Uh, so I'll have to try to remember that. And also, I looked at the guide and I realized that I had to go back to the building that showed all the colored circles. And it'll show numbers. So I got the... I completely went through the last time by chance. At least I'm pretty sure. But, uh... How I did it was purple, blue, red, and green. That's the number... Or, sorry, that's the order of the slates that I got this time around. Uh, but there's no numbers here. I am confused... Uh, check the placement of the circles and their numbers. They are marked randomly. Get out. Okay. Uh, what, what numbers? I don't see numbers. Whatever. I'm going to try my way and just get them by the order that I got them. Please. Nope. I'm going to try the order that it gave me, so which is green, purple, red, blue? Nope. Nope, wasn't it. Dang it. How was I so lucky the first time? I'm going to go back and see if I can figure out something. Oh, I'm... I think I'm dumb. There's these dots on the ground. One. So blue, green, red, purple. Let me try that. Blue, green, red, purple. Blue, green, red, purple. Purple. Oh my god! How did I miss that before? Alright, let's go up. That's the door. Still creepy AF? I see a light. 
seems to be guiding me. I feel my hands turned into wings. Just a flick to pass. I got the achievement be divorced from. Mom. Can't move. Who's there? Yee, we hug mom. back. Ooh! The butterfly is free! I got the free end! Yay! Even though it's pretty much the same how I did it the last time. I don't know what's different now other than the slates changed, which is random, so... Oh, I guess I did talk to the red guy on this run this time, so I'm not sure. Yay, I like this. This is nice. Oh, I'm white guy again. Chair, crow, or mom. And that that's pretty much the end of this ending, so I'm going to see what happens when I just go on my own. I think... I think, I believe I've gone through the entirety of the game. Let me know in the comments below what I may have missed and I will go back and do them over again. I would love game theory. I would love MatPat to just peel the layers of this game and make a more coherent story for this game. I loved the heck out of this game. It, it, Like I said, it had so many layers to work with, and it just made the story more interesting and more complex. There were mazes in this game, which, as many of you know, I am not the biggest fan of. I am a big scaredy cat when it comes to mazes. But at least the mazes were well lit, and I got through them relatively quickly, so I didn't have a problem with them. Um, overall, really love the story. I would love to look at more insight into the story. Uh, but for now, that's all the time I got left. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned for more videos that I will post soon. I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Ugh.